The first time I performed in Roy Thompson Hall, uh, I was a singer in the Macmillan Singers at the University of Toronto, and we were doing the Eric Kunzel musical extravaganzas, and I was in the chorus, and I think it was Marc Dubois was singing, and, and I just remember that we had to sing, there's a coach coming in, you can listen if you hear it, and we go, here it comes! And there it is, and that was like the whole chorus would look to the left, <laughs> look to the right, and I remember looking out and thinking, "Ah, oh, I've totally made it." <laughs> and the TSO was playing, and had a really big crush on one of the percussionists who shall remain nameless, and uh, it was yeah wonderful because I had seen brochures of Roy Thompson. I knew that was where the Toronto Symphony played, and you know, I'm from Fredericton, New Brunswick, and. I'd never um, been in a real uh, concert hall, um, and it was just kind of astonishing. And then when I did my first solo recital, um, it wasn't a solo recital. It was actually like up and coming, super duper stars of the future. And I was with Robert Palmikoff and Jane Archibald, and John Hess played, and we shared the program. And I was so nervous, and I remember I just wanted my mother to make the most biggest dress she could possibly make because I wasn't sure it was, I mean, it was such a large hall. I mean, I don't want to get you know, lost in the, in the shuffle of the space. And, but then when I came for the reopening of the hall, that was a very special thing to be a part of because I've always considered Roy Thompson to be my hall, mostly because I don't do... Um, I don't do a lot of opera, so and I wasn't doing a lot of opera at that point, so um, so all of my performances up until I was with Opera Atelier, all of my concerts had been at Roy Thompson in Toronto. So I've always very much considered it my, yeah, my hall in Toronto. Mm -hmm. 